Hey Vegan Food Explorers, I am your Vegan Food Explorer and today we're going to be showing something, a very new, exciting product. Let's get into the video. Okay, tease you long enough, what is this exciting product? So, we all know Linda, Linda McCartney, they're famous for making, they call it vegetarian food, but 99.9%, .9%, I even think it could be 100% of their range. It's vegan and they do loads of different things. They do burgers, they do sausages, they do all sorts of things. They even do a fried vegan chicken bucket, which is very, very nice. Very dangerous, but very nice. But they have a brand new product to the market and we had to try it. It is the Linda McCartney Organic Soy Milk. No added sugar version. Okay, so it's ring pool. Pop it, let's give it a shake before. Make sure it's all mixed up. Ring pull, definitely remember to cut that so no little animals get stuck in it. We'll do that later. Let's have a look at it. Right, let's pour. This is two quid a bottle um, and it's organic. So I would say this has gone into the luxury soya milk uh, territory, which means that we are gonna be judging this pretty high on taste. It needs to have the bit, the business. It's organic, as, again, it, it's organic already, so it definitely gets big marks for that. Organic farming is great. It means it's an absolutely fantastic product, and it means it's going to look after the environment, which is big thumbs up from us. But at the end of the day, if it tastes like rubbish, it doesn't matter. You can have organic rubbish, but we don't want to put that on our cereal. We want to have delicious soy milk. So let's get it into a cup. Let's have a look at it, have a smell of it, and we'll have a taste of it. Let's go. Two pounds, so I'm really excited to see what this looks like. Yeah, it's less frothy than I thought it would be because see, I did shake it up. Sometimes you get big, big froth out of, out of there. Really, really interesting. Let's look at the packaging just to remind ourselves. So something really interesting. It says Linda McCartney's soy drink is made from two simple ingredients and it is made from soybeans and water. <laughs> so that's pretty simple. It doesn't have any salt, sugar, anything else, and it's organic. That already is giving me a big, big, I think big thumbs up, to be honest. I think that's great. I personally drink, um, I drink the Alpro uh, vegan milk, and I also drink the little one. I drink those because they have added calcium, because I really like that, because then it matches the calcium of of um, cow's milk, so I know I'm getting my calcium there. You can get your calcium from loads of other vegan um, foods, but I'd just like to know that I've covered my bases in the morning. However, I really respect that actually you know exactly what's going into your body here. Just owe it some water, so that's really, really great. Um, so yeah, very, very, very impressive actually. Nutrition wise, it's, it again has, it is basically, it has, so per 100 milliliters, it has 40 calories, two grams of fat, 0 0.6 grams of saturated fat, so basically none, two grams of carbohydrate, basically none because there's no added sugar, and then three and a half grams of protein, which is really decent. I mean, if you have, you know, if you have just over 300 milliliters of this on your cereal, which isn't that much, that's already 10 grams of protein. Very, very good. Um, so anyway, let's get back to the actual product. Oh, it smells really nice. It just smells um, very clean. It doesn't have any of that punch. I find when they have sugar, some some of them have, um, it's like an apple extract to give that, that sweetness. It doesn't smell at all like that. It smells nice. Let's have a sip. Wow. So I stopped drinking Alpro no added sugar um, milk just because I found that it tasted so bland and I just couldn't drink it. I was like, oh, this has no added sugar. I was a bit worried, but this is really nice. It's actually, it's actually got a real sweetness to it. I don't know how they, I don't, I literally don't know how they've done that. I guess it must be the processing of the soybeans that they must maybe not have as many husks and things like that. I don't know, or maybe just. You know what it could be? A higher quality soybean. Um, if these are organic, it means they've really been grown with care and things like that. So, wow, that is seriously, seriously impressive. I would actually say that, you know, it doesn't actually taste like dairy milk, but it has that same satisfaction. It's really ice cold, actually. It's been quite warm today. 
and drinking that is really really refreshing i i that is seriously seriously nice i was ready to hate on this i was kind of bigging it up with the organic because i was like I do believe in organic farming, but I thought, you know what, I'm not sure if the taste is going to back it up. And, you know, I, I really respect um, Linda McCartney, great brand, but wasn't so sure if the flavour is going to be great. But my word, that is a seriously good flavour. I would say, I would actually honestly say this is the best vegan milk, tasting vegan milk I've ever had, actually. It's really, really that nice. I would say two pounds for a bottle is very expensive but this isn't your cheap replacement milk this is i guess yeah top of the category and i think that's actually great because if they try to go in for a lower end i just think they're going to get squeezed out so that is my conclusion of the linda mccartney soy milk this is the cream to the creme the creme de la creme the vegan cream of the crop it has two ingredients, it tastes really nice, it's all organic, lovely packaging, great brand, looks amazing, tastes amazing, definitely recommend it. However, you can get a very, very similar product for about a quarter of the price from a Lidl or an Aldi. So if money is a problem, I would avoid this. I definitely recommend saving up and trying it. However, if you can afford it, you're not going to find much better than this. So, thank you for watching. Who knew we could talk about for so long about soy milk? I could probably talk for another hour about soy milk and where this fits in the market. Maybe we'll save that for a longer video. But thank you for watching. And of course, we will see you in the next video.